Welcome to Talking Life. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The shocking things you did not know about love. Love is an intense feeling of deep affection. There is a difference between love and lust. Until you know how to love, you won't know God, your creator. When you walk in love, you carry grace. The degree to which you walk in love determines your level of manifestation in Christianity. If you say you love your creator, you must not hate people. If you do not love humanity, your love for God is fake. In Christendom, eternal life is far from them that do not love. The authentic proof of love is given. Obedience is another proof of love. Although there are numerous types of love, including both the self-love and romantic love. You can walk towards loving and showing your love in different ways. They include, number one, appreciate yourself. Before loving anyone else, you have to love yourself. Learning to love yourself means to accept and appreciate vulnerability within. You have many questions that are unique to you. Learn to appreciate who you are and what you can offer. If you have issues loving yourself, then it is time to work hard to build yourself up. Work on your self-confidence by accepting your past and moving forward. You may think that the things you did in the past will make you unlovable. That is untrue. Accepting the things that happened to you in the past Forgiving yourself for it and moving on is a way to go. Number two, care about yourself just as much as you care about others. This can be difficult if you find yourself as a natural caretaker or if you have children. Remember, your ability to care for others increases if you are adequately taking care of yourself. Don't let yourself become the last priority. Instead, do the things to show yourself that you care. Treat yourself to a massage or a bath. Do one thing every day that is just for you. This extends to maintaining boundaries and saying no. If what you need is some relaxation, say no to getting together with friends. Number three, give gratitude. Grateful people have health benefits and report higher levels of happiness. Find ways to be grateful for things that surround you, and most important, for who you are. Think about the characteristics that you have that you love about yourself. Maybe you are very compassionate, generous, or a good listener. Maybe you pick up new skills easily. Perhaps you create beautiful paintings or you wear like a pro. Take a moment and be grateful. Number four, have a good attitude. Even if situations seem negative, find something positive, big or small. Having a positive outlook is linked with health and emotional benefits, such as lower rates of distress and having longer lifespan. When you start to have negative thoughts, especially about yourself, turn them into positive thoughts. Use positive self-talk to transform negative thoughts into positive thoughts. Combat thoughts about new situations instead of, I'll mess this up. I am so foolish. Try, I feel proud of myself for trying something new and putting myself out there. If you think like I am so bad at meeting people, you replace it with something like, I am excited to learn new social skills and meeting new people just like me. I know I can succeed in making friends. Number five, engage in things that make you happy. Being happy is part of showing love to yourself. Create a state of happiness by doing things that make you feel good. Do things that make your body, mind, emotions, and spirit feel good. Happiness largely depends on putting in the effort to make your life more positive. You can choose to meditate,
practice yoga and practice Muay Thai or engage in lively discussions. Think about what brings a smile to your face and go and do it. Number six, take some time alone. An important part of self-care is to spend some time alone. It can be difficult if you share a room or have children, but save some time for yourself. Solitude can help you unwind, walk through problems, reboot your mind, and discover yourself. Don't feel guilty for wanting alone time. By spending time alone, you can improve your relationships, patronizing your happiness and allowing yourself to reset. It is important to note that alone times does not include going to the social media. Try to do things that enrich your mind, your life, and make you feel good, like taking a walk or jogging. If you struggle to find alone time, wake up before other people, or spend your lunch breaks alone, Ask your partner to watch the kids for one hour each week so you can get out of the house and spend time alone. Number seven, accept that you don't need a partner to feel complete. Some people believe that happiness and love can only be experienced through a relationship or that a bad relationship is better than no one at all. Staying in a relationship that does not work, does not respect you or your partner. Solitude is different than being lonely. It is not worth succumbing to social pressure to fit in or feel complete. If you are unhappy or impatient being single, make the best of the situation. Pursue opportunities that are difficult to accomplish with a partner or a family. Travel. Acquire lots of friends and enjoy your perpetual freedom. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Talking Live.